Does anyone know why a mixing console looks like it does? No. Oh, no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. When recording started to be done electronically in the 1920s, recording studios used the same type of mixing consoles as broadcasters. These mixing desks had large bake-like rotary knobs that controlled the volume level and not many other features. Back then, records were mixed live to disc and the large knobs made it difficult to adjust more than one or two channels at any one time, making the engineer's job that much harder. So, in about 1960, recording engineer extraordinaire Tom Dowd, whose discography includes just about every artist that ever made a record, thought that recording consoles should have linear sliding faders instead of big knobs, so that the engineer could control up to 10 faders at once. He also added signal processing, like EQ and routing. Dowd designed all of these features into a console that he built for Atlantic Records, and mixing consoles ever since, both actual and virtual, have had those features and that look. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.